Hello and welcome back to the channel and today you join me for this week's Forzathon guide called Real Rider which wants you to own and drive the 2014 Mercedes-Benz Unimog U5023 to complete all of the challenges with. So without further ado let's get stuck in and take a look at the car in question. So this is the 2014 Mercedes-Benz Zunimog. It will set you back 100,000 credits, or you can probably pick it up cheaper in the auction house. I've also created a tune for you guys to use. It's called Forzathon. Share code is 112-717-164, and hopefully this should make the challenges a little bit easier for you. Now the first challenge here wants you to win a cross-country event, which is actually really easy. So to do this, we're going to head up to the Las Dunas Cross Country at the top of the Caldera Volcano, just like we did last week. And over here, of course, I've got a race set up for you guys to use called Forzathon Easy. Share code is 751-115-542. And of course, it's one of those races where there are no AIs, so you'll win no matter what. Now, you'd probably think that the Unimog would be incredibly slow, but it's actually not too bad. You'll hit 200 mile an hour coming down that hill, which is actually quite fun. After that, it's, you know, it's not too slow, to be fair to it. I think overall, I finished the race in about two and a half minutes, which for a first challenge of a Falls Thumb really isn't that bad, to be honest. We've done a lot longer before. So that is the first challenge complete, super easy and fairly quick. Now the next challenge here wants you to earn one star on the Barranco Trailblazer. Now this one you probably think is tricky but it's actually not. So this is the Trailblazer in question, again back at the top of the Caldera Volcano. Now in order to get one star on here you have to finish with at least 5 seconds. But this way I'm going to show you, you'll end up finishing it at least nearing that 3 star mark so it makes life easier. Now what I would recommend doing first of all is pinpointing uh, on the map where you're actually going to be finishing just so you've got a destination set and then starting around about that curve there. Now when you start I recommend A doing it in first person and B heading over to the left at the start of the trailblazer because if you go straight down there is a few rocks that you will smash into and I know this because this was not my first attempt. When you're halfway down the hill you will slow down there hitting those quite big stones um, that obviously slows you down a fair bit. Then if you follow the route through that patch of yellow flowers and then start heading ever so slightly to the left. Now you don't take a full left just yet, it's when you get here to what looks like a dead end and it doesn't matter if you crash because remember you only need to get one star on here for the challenge and as you can see we've got plenty of time left. So I think 30 seconds, finishing with 30 seconds of the 3 star score, we finish with 25 so that's not too bad. Now the last challenge here just wants you to earn 10 wreckage skills. I'm sure we all know what a wreckage skill is when you smash into something. Um, what I would recommend is buying out some of the perks. So the second life perk in the bottom right corner always helps out in a challenge like this. And the stalwart design one as well, meaning your skill chains end two seconds later than normal. Then I'd recommend going over to Guanajuato, one of the main cities in the game. The reason for this is, of course, with it being a city, there is lots of de destructible items from lamp posts to post boxes, phone boxes, um, carts, all sorts of things to smash into. Uh, you'll have a really easy time getting 10 ultimate uh, wreckage skills here. It's pretty easy to do. It might not be quick because of the vehicle in question and because of the amount of record skills you have to get to, um, but it really isn't that difficult. Um, I would as well recommend doing it probably in first person. Um, it's a bit tricky to see past the massive rear end on this thing. Um, <laughs> But, you know, it's whatever suits you guys. I did some of it in third and some of it in first. Um, it's still, like I said, an easy enough challenge to complete. It just might take a few minutes. And beware as well, because this thing is very easily uh, toppled over. It does not like to go around certain corners when you clip uh, a curb. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully this guide did help you guys out. Uh, if it did, I would very much appreciate if you could, of course, drop a like. If you didn't like it, hitting that dislike button is fine as well. If you're new to the channel and it did help, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe. Um, don't forget as well to stick around for the photo challenge guide next. But if you're struggling with anything in this video, let me know down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you out. Apart from that, folks, I wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.